hey guys good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are whenever you are watching hopefully you are doing fantastic in this video we are going to discuss some basic topics on java classes and objects and remember i have prepared this video focusing on selenium testers probably if, if you are a developer this video will need further elaboration and explanation but again this video is focused on you know selenium automation testing this video i'm going to discuss the following topics so these are the topics that i'm going to cover here in this video and finally you will receive an exercise at the end of the video so you know stay with me i'll, I'll try to make it as short as possible so first of all let's take a look some of the theories right so if you take a look what is what is class right like you may have heard about object oriented programming language that is oop right object oriented programming language java c++ c sharp all of these are object oriented languages so in object oriented language it is more organized and it is more easy to write safe code and the main main concept of class and objects is very important to understand object oriented language so what is class right a class is the blueprint or prototype from which individual objects are created class contains variables which which we are calling as properties and methods methods means behavior so that means class we are saying the blueprint of object and class has properties and methods properties you can say variables in programming language and class has behavior that is called methods in programming language and object is an instance of the class which is a combination of data and procedures an object has a state and behavior variables display the states and uh, states and methods display the behavior so as you can see that object is an instance of a class which has data and procedures an object will have an state and a behavior variables will have the state of the object and methods will display the behavior of the object now we will be using a lot the two operator that is one is new and another operator is dot so the new operator we use to declare an object from a class and the dot operator we use to access the variables and methods of an object remember when you declare an object by that object you can access the variables and methods of a class so to do that you will have to use that dot operator now i have collected an image here that will be giving you an overall idea of what is class object uh, what is class properties and methods and it will basically define each of the terms of a class now if you take a look this public right this public can be used before the properties can you see this string name color int age all of these have properties and let's say if it is a cat class right so cat will have a name it will have a color it will have an age so these are all properties right and cat does something it does mew 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 it works right it talks so these are behavior or in the programming language we are calling them as method right so this class has public access modifier or access specifier that means this class is visible to outside world like beyond this you know this class is visible from another class or from another package 
and then can you see this properties that we are saying okay name color and age it doesn't do anything it is just properties right and this can have access is specified like public private protected right something like this now if you define these properties as public then from other classes you by by using a by declaring an object of that class you will be able to access these properties same thing in this method that you are saying seeing here if you declare that method as public again you'll be able to access this method from outside of this class right if you declare these properties and this method as private private means you will be able to access this only from this class right so let's keep it keep this dis discussion limited here and then you can see this class keyword if you are defining a class you'll have to use that class keyword and then you can put a name of the class and remember that whenever we are naming a class we use upper camel case that means there will be no space in class name and uh, the spaces in class name and each of the word will have a uppercase letter right and class name you cannot start with a number just remember that and class name you cannot have a class name like there are some reserved words right so you cannot give a class name by those reserved word and then can you see this opening curly braces so that means our class has started from here and can you see this this uh, curly closing curl curly braces um, so our class is ended here so whatever in between these curly brackets everything is beyond uh, belong to this class then you come here um, this class instance variables so we are calling them variables or properties so all of the methods can you see void talk and if you see anything that that comes with this you know after the name it comes with this parenthesis that means this is a method so this method will be able to ex you know use all of these properties here and then um, you can see here there is a method called talk right Na talk is the name of that method and can you see there is a void word that means from this method we can return value so void means we are not going to return any value so if you want to return any value instead of void you will have to put int or something like this int double or string so closing curly bracket this co closing curly bracket is is the end of this method right so this this method started here and this method ended here and then we have you know inside the talk method we have a print statement system out print and that is going to print a word new in the console okay now after this um, you know total video there will be a tutorial uh, there will be an exercise i'll show you the exercise but um, you know let me go to the practical part at this point i'm going to explain in details like how how you can declare a class how you can pass value to a method and how you can return value from a method okay now um, to do that all of these works we are going to do, do in eclipse ide eclipse ide like uh, is the ide where we are going to write our code now if you take a look here previously i have created this project this java project now i'm not going to use it inside that project i have classes if you take a look i have two classes but i'm not going to use it now if you take a look if you right click on this right and go to properties you will see where that where that project is located so this project is located in this location right? can you see i have a workspace right so if i copy this path and from my drive right from my hard drive if i go to that if i go to that um path you will see that my second java project so this is the project this is the place where this project is located but to make it simple i'll not keep this project here i'm going to right click on this project and i'm going to say delete and 
make sure that you do not select this checkbox if you select this checkbox and if you delete the project will be removed from your hard drive so make sure that it is unchecked and click ok so now if you again if you go to that drive you will still see my second java project right so it is still there now how will you let's say you do not have that project here now now how will you bring that project again here in eclipse right you click on file open project from file system and then you go to that particular directory where you have that project right you go there and you click select folder right and then you can actually instead of directly going into that um, project that's fine let me just uh, finish and then if you finish here can you see that project is again again here and you can you know execute that project right the classes are here but let me just uh, simplicity let me remove this project from here so that i can show you how you can create a new project so let's say i'm going to uh, click new java project right and then i'm going to give it a name so the my project name will be again can you see uh, use default location so this is my default location if you want to change it you will have to uncheck it and you will have to show where you want to save your project but i'll be using default location and i'm going to say my project name is um, um, basics on java class Okay. java class java classes okay so and make sure that you have you know java sc 1.8 selected here now if you have a updated java version you might be selecting some other java version but java 9 java 10 should be fine as well for me i'm going to select one java 1.8 and i'm going to say finish now if you go inside that project you will see like your code will be under this src under this src there are no code right you can see that now i'm going to uh, right click here and then i'm going to say new java package remember that it is always useful and helpful if you put your code under a package right i'm going to uh, create a package let's say um, um, my package I'm, I'm going to name it as my package right and i'm going to say I'll, I'll i'll give you a little bit more information on package inside a package you can have you know different classes you can have interface all of the things can come under a class yeah, under a package now can you see under this package there is nothing so i'm going to right click on this package and i'm going to say i'm going i, I want to open a class right i want to open a class now you know i can give any name to my class but please follow that you know upper camel case notation so i'm going to say my uh, you know this class as i'm going to give any name i'm going to give as um my uh, my first class actually i'm going to name it in that way my my first class my first class and i'm going to say finish now you will see that it will be creating a class called my first class and and it is basically an empty class and you can see that uh, the class is inside my un under my package right and can you see this uh, starting curly bracket that means my class is starting here and my class is ending here so whatever i'm going to write here in between it will be part of my class now remember that if you want to like if you now click on play right you will see that you will not, not it will not be able to play now inside the class you will have to give method and in java your execution you might have multiple class under a package but only one class will have the main method right and your execution when you click on replay your execution will be started from the main method now before i go for the main method let me tell you so you have a public access specifier that means this class will be public this class will be public to uh, to this project 
to this project to all of the other packages and stuff now this is this is the word that you are saying if you say it is private this class will not be able to other classes will not be able to view this class right so then you have class keyword you, you have to say class keyword because we are writing uh, a class here now what i'm going to do here i'm going to um i'm going to um like as i said java like when you click on play your code execution starts from the main method so i'm going to write a main method and remember that wherever you are writing main method if you work as a tester the way i'm writing my main method you will be writing it in the same way it will always start with public static void main i'll tell you what 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 does this public static void main means sooner uh, you know in the later part of the video and you'll be putting this parenthesis and here here um let's say now if you if you execute right if you it will still say cannot launched there are no uh, recent launches so what you will have to do here remember that you will have to pass an argument what is that argument you will say string and then this box bracket and you will say args right now if you execute it hopefully it will not complain right can you see it is now comp not complaining and although you know it is not I, I have executed it but it is not showing me anything here because i do not have anything so let's say you can say that here how in in programming how you can say something you can say something by the print statement so how do you write print statement in java you write print statement that way system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln so you write system dot out dot print ln and remember you'll have to close every line by a semicolon right so here let me remove this unnecessary word so you can write something and and semicolon means the end of this statement remember after the function name where you are putting the function name there will there will be no semi, uh, semicolon okay now here i'm going to say i'm going to print something what i'm going to print let's say i'm going to say hello i'm going to say hello well, let me make this one a little bit bigger i'm going to say hello this hello this is my this is from main method right this is from hello this is from main method this is from main method right now if you execute it, right now if you execute it you will see that in the console area this is the console area it will say hello this is my this is from main method right is it clear so if you want to print something if you want to give an output you will be giving an output by using system out print ln message and it will be displayed in the console part of the screen okay now so this is this is there is nothing we did so far regarding to object oriented programming now we are going to create another class in the same project under the same package and we will create an object of that other class from this main method and we will be calling the method from the other class by using that object now that is what you need to follow okay so how will you be creating another class right another class and how will you be calling the method from that class from this main method how let me follow me here so right click here right right click here and say again new class and let's say you name it as you know hard working class hard working class so this hard working guy will be doing all of the task for me okay so now i'm going to say finish can you see we have created another class 
under the same package my package the name of the class is hardworking class and again this class is public remember this class is by default public and public means we will be able to access this class from the other class that we have created if you define it as private you will not be able to access it from other class okay now inside this class inside this class remember we have discussed classes properties and method properties means it will have okay what is its name what is its color all of these are properties now method it will also have method method means okay what it does it works or it barks or it you know shouts all of these things are method so properties right i'm going to say it will have a property let's say um, you can say um, int int first no i'll tell you what is int int is is a data type let's say if you want to drink water you will need a container you will need a cup or a glass right so in programming language if you want to save something like a number or anything you will need a variable variable so int is a variable type data type in java int means uh, if you declare a variable with int that means you will be able to save only whole number like 5 10 15 there is a range but you will be able to only save the whole number in that variable if you declare a variable double then you will be able to save fractional number as well like 5.25 10.5 something like this if you declare a variable let's say i'm going to declare a variable int right int uh, and then i'm going to declare another variable double right double let's say uh, first first uh, i'm going to say here first int and then i'm going to say first dub and then i'm going to declare another variable string I'll tell you what what is that string means string means you will be able to uh, save in string type variable you will be able to save um, in string type variable you will be able to save only alphanumeric characters like a b c d um, a mix of a b c d and one two three four five six so that type of you know that type of alphanumeric character you'll be able to uh, you know save in string type data type first string first string and semicolon okay now we have um, we have declared three properties we have declared three properties remember we have declared three properties here and then um, then so th our properties are there right okay now while you are declaring this property you can say public if you say public that means it will be public to everyone in this project every class every interface every you know method of this project if you say if you do not say anything by default it will be public but it will be package level so you, you, this first result you can access from all of the classes under this package so if you do not put any type if you say private you will only be able to access this variable from this class from the method of this class okay now i'm going to say here i'm going to define a method as i said method is behavior what will this class do okay so let's say the method you will be saying first of all the method will have a return type so return type means i'm not going to define any return type at this point i'm going to say return type is void and then i'm going to say um void i'm going to say what is the name of that method let's say i'm going to say name of the method is um you know um working method let's say i can give any name but remember this is lower camel case lower camel case all of these variable names like all of these variables names method names will be lower camel, camel case lower camel case means there will be words no space all of the words first words will be, will have a lowercase letter and the other letter other words will have you know uppercase letters so let's say working uh, method i'm just giving any name and then remember method will always have this 
uh, you know parenthesis pair and then i'm going to say this is my this this break this uh, you know curly bracket is my starting point and this is my ending point of this method now what will this method do it will do hard work for me what is that hard work let's say i'm going to say system dot out dot print ln right print ln what it is going to print i'm going to say it is going to print hello from hard working hard working class you got it okay now i have a complete class remember i can put a public here public means what will be the access type of this method public if i define public it will be viewable to all of the classes in this project if i do not say anything public or private it will be it will be visible to all of the classes of this map of this package okay now i have a hard working class here now i'm going to show you how you can define an object of this hard working class how you can define an object of this hard working class right of this hard working class and use that object use that object to call this method we are not going to use this properties yet but we are going to define an object to call this method how so I'm going to go to my first class and over there I'm going to come here what is the name of this hardworking class I'm going to copy the name or you can type it as well so if I copy this name and if I come here right so this is my class name and what, what will be my object name now I'm going to give my object name let's say I'm going to say um, HRD OBG you can give any name right HRD hrd obj and then you can you will have to put equal to okay this object equal to you will have to use that new word right new word it will be a new object and i'm going to say hard working what type what is the object type hard working class again you will have to put that class name and then you will have to put a parenthesis pair and then you are going to put a semicolon now we have that object remember that from this class right this which is a you know prototype of a of an object or blueprint of an object from that class we have created an object this is the object okay now i'm going to use this object i'm going to use this object right and then if you put dot remember i said that by using the dot operator we are going to use all of the methods or properties from that from that class which class from where we have defined that object right now if you take a look can you see that we can we have a first int we have a first string and we have a first dub and then we have another um, method that is um, let me see equals and get class not fail to string weight so remember that we have defined a method defined a method as what is the name of that method working method so let me see where is that method so now if you remove that dot and put it again here uh, you will see at the if you scroll you will see a lot of other method that we didn't define but these are whenever we have you have a class and you have defined an object there will be by default you know java will have some method on that object so these methods are by default it it is already defined by java now if you go all the way down can you see this working method right so that is the method that we have defined here this working method okay now if you come here again let's say dot and if you put w then you will see that this is the method right you got it so previously when we have you know printed it it was only able to print this message hello this is from main method now i'm going to close that console and then i'm going to start this execution again you will see that now it will be printing two lines now can you see hello this is from main method 
and can you see the other line hello from hardworking class because we are calling this method from here by this object it was able to print this method um, message from inside this method if we do not have call this here it will not be printing this this method here uh, this message here right so you have got an idea like what is class what is like how does object works right how you can declare objects how you can use uh, you, know, you know dot operator to access the method from a class all of these things we have discussed so far i will stop this video here and there will be a, another part of this video where i'm going to discuss all of these other topics that i said i'll be uh, discussing in this video all of the remaining topics will be uh, discussed in another video so yeah thank you for watching i appreciate your time